Well, moving the needle in Gary, Indiana, no easy task. But since taking office in 2020, Mayor Jerome Prince has found some uncommon success. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond joins us now with more. Mary Rachel. The old saying, perception is reality, may just be Gary, Indiana's biggest obstacle. And Mayor Jerome Prince, well, let's just say he's well aware of the moniker, Scary Gary. Prince tells me he knows that perception of the city isn't going to change overnight, but perhaps one of the reasons Prince has been so effective in Gary, he keeps it simple. He calls them his three pillars, making Gary safer, improved customer service for Gary residents, and creating a cleaner city. This summer, upwards of 100 buildings will be demolished as part of Prince's All in Gary campaign, which also features community cleanups every two weeks. Earlier this month, he launched Operation Safe Zone, a 24-hour surveillance operation that feeds security video from churches and businesses directly to officers on the ground in real time. He's also partnered with the Indiana State Police. Progress, yes, but again, Prince knows overcoming decades of a bad rap isn't easy. Never really felt unsafe. You know, some may say, well, he's delusional, right? And I don't think so. I travel through the city. I take my family. My wife and I ride our bicycles throughout the entire city. Having said that, it's important to understand that because that perception exists, that we need to acknowledge it, right? And do everything we can to try to eliminate or at the very minimum diminish the perception that this isn't a safe place and a good place to visit or live. And Prince also added that change of perception is what will start to bring businesses back to Gary, something that's already beginning to take shape. Ah, the sweet sound of Gary, Indiana's first family of pop, the Jacksons, whereas most remember them as the Jackson Five. Michael, Jermaine, Jackie, Tito, Marlon, and Johnny. A new documentary out by filmmaker Kenneth Joseph of Steeltown Records tells the unbelievable, never before told story of Johnny Porter Jackson drummer of the Jackson Five. It all started in a basement in Gary, Indiana in the mid 1960s. And as the documentary points out, it was really Johnny and his drums that helped catapult the Jackson Five into superstardom. Michael hadn't came into his own yet. See, Michael was still learning and Johnny was way stronger than he was as a, as a musician. See, they followed Johnny. Jermaine, all of them, they followed Johnny's lead. And Johnny could drum, man. He could drum, he could drum, drum. The documentary actually debuts today at the Gene Siskel Film Center in Chicago, but you can watch it from the comfort of your couch. Stream the Johnny Jackson story by going to eventive.org.